In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at creating flame effects or creating transparent flame objects or bitmaps that we can use in Corel Draw and Corel Photo Paint to create photorealistic looking flame effects such as we see on this basketball or in this guitar that we have here. And we know that these looks are popular in everything from t-shirts to car wraps and many of your sports types graphics. Before we get started here, I'd like to take a look at pixabay.com. That's where I got the flame graphic. It's public domain, so I can use it commercially and freely. And you'll find many good images on here that you can use in your design work or in your design process. You started here, I'll go ahead and have my flame selected. Up here and I'll click on Edit Bitmap. And that will open my flame graphic in Corel Photo Paint. Now once that's done, I know that I'm going to want to use the channel to mask to knock the black out. So do some analysis with my eyedropper and I can see that this isn't a pure black. If it was, it would be 000 for my RGB. So I'm going to want to make some adjustments. Go to my pick tool, I'll come up here to adjust and come down here to the tone curve. I'm going to set the style from curve to straight. I can come over here with the pick tool and click here and see that's about where I am with the color. So I can just go ahead and select that left click, pull down, and you'll see some adjustment in the image and that's going to change that to a nice dark color. Now if I want to make the flames pop some more, I can come up here, left click, hold down, pull, and you can see that. Go ahead and select OK. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to want to change this from a background to an object. So I'll click this icon and now I have object one for my flames. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to window. I'm going to go to dockers. I'm going to go to channels. I'm going to go to image. I'm going to convert this to a CMYK, which is going to push all of my black into the black channel. Select OK, and I'm going to go No here. Now I'm going to come to this black channel. I'll left click and select that. I'm going to come to Mask, Create, Channel to Mask. And I'm going to go to Mask, Invert. I'm going to go up here and click on CMYK. I'm going to come over here and make sure that I have a masking tool selected. Then I'm going to hit the Delete key. Now you can see that I have a transparent background. Now, if I had not had that masking tool selected, I'll hit Control Z here and had my pick tool and hit delete, I would have deleted my object and that's not what I wanted. I'll hit Control Z, go back to the mask tool and then hit delete and now I've got my transparency. Then I want to go to mask, remove, and I'll go ahead and close photo paint. It'll prompt me to save and I'll go ahead and select yes. Now I have the transparency or most of it set up in Corel Draw. Go ahead and zoom in here and we can see we still have some gray in here. We want to get rid of that. To do that with the object selected, I'll go to effects, adjust, and I'll come down here to channel mixer. I'm going to change my color mode to CMYK. I'm going to go to my output channel. I'm going to go down to black, I'm going to slide that or click that back to zero. And you can see that that removes the rest of that gray color and select OK. Now I have a perfectly transparent flame image that I can use to create my design or my flame effects for my design. Next thing I do is I go ahead and grab this rectangle here and I created this earlier. And this is just a rectangle that I filled with black and converted to a bitmap. Go ahead and select Edit Bitmap here for that and open that up in Corel Photo Paint. I'm going to go back to Corel Draw, select my basketball. I'll go ahead and copy that. Go back to Photo Paint. Go ahead and paste that in. 300 dpi will be OK. Bring that down here to the bottom. Go over back to Corel Draw, select my flames, go ahead and copy those, 
go back to photo paint go ahead and paste those in select OK and also paste in right there now here what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the eraser tool I'm going to select a soft edge like this one here at 100 set that up at about 500 and do some erasing here to get rid of that flat edge up at the top and some of these sparks here that I won't want. I'm just left click, hold down, and drag, and I can erase that with a soft edge. I can do the same thing down here in the basketball. I can bring this soft edge in here and just tap my way through here. And we can see the flame effect being built into the basketball. I can take this then, and let's bring it down here into the basketball a little bit further. And I can straighten that out if I want to a little bit. And I'll go ahead and go to my object manager here. And click off there and just let that render. Now that's rendered in really nicely. You can see that nice flame effect built into that. Now I can go further with this. I can go to say my liquid smear tool. And we want to maybe move this around or shape things a little bit. We can do that. We can left click hold down gotta make sure we got the object for which is a flame selected left click hold down drag and tweak that in and kind of give it some different look or shape to it really dial in how we want our flames to look as you can see there now if I want to do something like really move some of that around I can change this to say 1500 in size hit enter and bring some of these flames right back out over here where it looks like there's not too much flaming going on just like that and I can tweak and push all of this over this way if I want to or what have you and really dial that in with this tool the next thing I can do is I can go ahead and duplicate that layer and I'll bring this over here to the left and I'll go ahead and resize that and I can see that I still got somewhat of a flat edge here but that does look okay blended into the basketball. I'm going to resize this some more, make it a little bit skinnier. And then I'll go ahead to object five here again, right click and duplicate. I'm going to bring that down. Then I'm going to flip that, say like that right there. Bring this up into here. And I'll take these two objects here, the way I've got them set up. Hold down shift, right click, come down here to combine, combine objects together. Now I've got an object there. Go ahead and resize that. Bring that over here to one edge, as you can see right there. And bring that in right about, say, there. Go back to my smear tool. We'll change that back to say 500 and hit enter and then just push this up into here and do some more of the same here push some of that into there and you can see that effect there then I could take this right click here on object 5 go to duplicate bring this over to the other side and then left click pull, pull this over and then bring that in to here, right about there. Go ahead and get my liquid smear tool again and push some of that back into there. I can push some of this out this way and change how this is working here. Come down here and select object five, do some more of the same and get a really nice realistic looking flames look. If I wanted to tweak some of this with the eraser, I can do that also. Go ahead and grab that and dial that, some of that in there. And we can see that flame effect. Now I want to zoom in here and see what's going on. And I can see that in my object four, I still have some flatness in there and I want to get rid of that. Even though it's covered up by these other flames here. And I can go ahead and push my mouse wheel forward and back to zoom in and zoom out and see my effect. Now once I'm happy with that effect, I can just go ahead and close photo paint. It's going to prompt me for a save. I'll select yes. 
and then I'll have a nice flame effect set up for my basketball in Corel Draw. Then if I wanted to do something like do some tweaking here in Draw, I could go ahead, this is all grouped from Photo Paint. I can go ahead and ungroup these. Go ahead and select the flame objects here and do different things with them. Let's say we want to go ahead and select all of this and we want to just give this a curve to it. So it looks like it's flying in. I can do that very easily by going to bitmaps, coming down to distort and going to mesh warp and bring some curvature out here in the design and bring some of this back this way. As you can see here, you start to add a sort of curved effect to the flames. Select OK, let that process, and then reposition that on my basketball the way that I would like, like it for the design. Then I could go ahead and take that, and let's say if we're doing a t-shirt graphic, I could go ahead and rotate it, have it set up something like that, and then maybe put in some text for a basketball team or something like that for the actual t-shirt design. So this is just a quick tutorial on setting up some flame graphics and objects and bitmaps that you can work with in Corel Draw to create some photorealistic flame type effects for your designs. And we know that we do see these types of looks around. We'll go ahead and wrap here and we'll see you in our next session.